Hi everybody, welcome back to day two of my daily vlogmas. So, shall we see what's in box number two? I ain't been out of sleep all night thinking what's in there. <laughs> right. Oh, what we got? Oh, okay. Not only have they wedged them in, they've glued them in. I wonder why I can't get them out. I thought it was my builder's fingers. <laughs> right, anyway. I think we've got a couple of candles and there we have it advent number two oh they'll come in handy all right i'm off out for a walk now if you'd like to join me i'll have a breath of fresh air right off we go lovely crisp morning only go for a, a little walk in the morning maybe a longer one later on it's just nice to get out get some clean air in your lungs and just have a think about the rest of the day I normally uh, like to write a little list out when I get back to the office that happens to be my kitchen table that doubles up as my office so yeah sit down write a little list out and try and work my way through it I find that's the most efficient way to get as much done as you can in a day so a little bit of frost which reminds me I've got to get my firewood so that's on the list today like I say, we've got no central heating, so we do rely completely on the wood. I like to get it from an ethical source. Um, I use a wood yard that uses all the offcuts from its production. They make garden furniture. And uh, instead of burning it in their site, they sell it off as firewood. So I'll probably go there later on if I get the chance. Hope you're enjoying these little vlogs. I do plan to film some Christmas fairs and more festive stuff so it'll be a mixture of my daily life and Christmas things and festivities and all fun stuff like that so morning girls <laughs> so curious aren't you hello they beautiful whilst I remember before I go back inside I better check my wood store we're running a little low so that's just moved up a couple of lines on me must-do list. The wood store at the moment is kept in my little converted piggery. Still not finished. Done all the stonework up the up the base here. It was all completely collapsed. It was a pile of rubble. So right, let's get going. So just a quick drive off down to the wood yard. Hopefully they've got some in. If not. There may be something of interest in that area that I can show you, so it won't be a wasted journey, but I need to get going, I've got a lot to do today. Just here is a Calvados and cider making farm. Calvados and cider everywhere here. The land of the pear and the apple. Right, I'm in luck. They've got a nice load of wood. I've got to load it up by hand. It's this wood here. It's all recycled so I'm happy about that in the fact that it's not going to go to landfill this is off cuts of furniture that they make it's all beach it's all dry and it burns really good and it'll keep us nice and warm so right excuse me while I get this loaded gloves on all right let's go I actually use this mixed in with some bigger bits of oak so this is not the sole fuel that I use all the time. I normally cut up some old beams I've got lying about at the barn so yeah, it's just a mixture. I'm going to have to make a few trips today I think. Right I've got another load like this to do. Um, hopefully if I see the uh, owner of this wood yard I might get him to uh, Cut me up some lengths of beach because I want to make a butcher's block so I've been meaning to catch up with him hopefully on my next visit I'll ask him right let's get this back home right now I've got all the wood in I'm gonna light me stove and I'm gonna get a stew on there for later on tonight Right, let's get that lit. I'm just about to light the fire. Now, I normally use these pre-bought little fire lighters, but if you've got a tumble dryer, save the lint and your egg boxes. 
I've seen this on uh, on YouTube. You you save your lint up. You fill these little cells up, and then if you've got some old candles, you seal them off the top, and then you can break them away in little segments, and they act as a a fire lighter. So I haven't tried that, but I'm saving the lint up instead of throwing it away and the egg boxes. So I'll give that a try. And also, while I was on YouTube, as you do. Um, I see that someone started putting potato peelings in their fire to reduce the amount of creosote that sticks to the flu. So I haven't tried that yet, but I will. So another little handy tip there. Right, just going to get this lit. Get me stew ready for tonight. And uh, that can be bubbling away while I carry on working. Right, I've got some lovely homemade butternut and pumpkin soup that Sam made me lovely and a selection of cheese and saucisson and a bit of baguette that should keep me going so that's me fed and watered off to drop it off uh, go and get me second load of wood and then if I've got time I'll show you that beautiful um, architectural building I've seen it online but never been there so that'll be an interesting one for me as well Right, let's get going. So that's the second load on, just in time. It's starting to rain. I'm going to go and find that lovely little uh, building that I see that I was telling you about earlier. It's around here somewhere. Very typical in France. You'll follow signposts and all of a sudden they'll disappear. It takes quite some time to get your bearings again. St. Guinevere, not seen that one before. Ah, there it is. Well, that's the equestrian centre, it's not there. Now we're set in the Ondane Forest and it's a national park for outstanding beauty. And you'll see why on these little tours. That's nice. Right, I'll continue driving, it's down another lane. Right, I found it. It's set in beautiful countryside and I've just caught a glimpse through the trees of the tower. Not sure if you can see it yet, but uh, I'll be shortly going over there. We'll have a closer look. Beautiful, tranquil setting, even on a day like this. Right, let's go and pay at the visitor centre. and Hopefully they'll let me film. Looks like they've got a guided tour going on, so hopefully I can get onto one of those. Hello. Right, I better check that I'm okay to film. Wow, there it is. Look at that beauty. That's fantastic. Oh wow, look at that round circular building next to it as well. That's very fairy tale like. Now oh, these are definitely medieval. And I've just noticed on this little building, a date, as normal, it's above the door. And it says 1658. There you go. Gives you some idea of the age of these properties. Stunning. Another round building here. Sometimes these are called pigeonneries. Well, they used to breed like pigeons to eat, but I don't think that is one. All right, let's see if I can go inside. In we go. Oh yeah, I was right. I think it was for pigeons. Wow. Lots of stonework in here. I mean, at a guess I would say there was, but I might be wrong. No way for them to fly out. Right, let's go back out. It's definitely got an ancient feel about this place. The land, the trees, everything about it. You can just feel it. I don't know, it's very odd, but you can. They keep these so well hidden, these gems in the countryside. But they're all over the place. I'm finding them everywhere I go. 
taken me ages to get anything done, mind you, but hey ho. I bet this looks spectacular lit at night. There's all floodlights at, at the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm not sure my camera's doing this justice with the light. It's quite overcast, but right, let's go and get a coffee, find out a bit more information. Now this is interesting, not quite sure what it is, whether it's just a big well. Well, that sure is. That's posh, isn't it? Mind you, a water supply is important. We take it for granted today. Just love all this chased stonework. Proper artisan craft. Beautiful. Time for that coffee. Right, just having me coffee. And it's stunning. What a beautiful, beautiful place to sit down in the rain, under shelter, drinking me coffee. I don't get much better than this. Right. A young lad has just told me he's going to put some music on for me. He said the Rolling Stones. So <laughs> I better hurry up and film because uh, I can't record the music. That's it for day two. I've got a few more bags to get out of the boot. So join me tomorrow on day three of the advent. <laughs>